So some of the southwest swell coming up from Hurricane Bud, as we told you at the top of the newscast. We're going to move on and talk a little bit about developing conditions around San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara County, which include triple digit heat potential as early as tomorrow. You can see skies are clear, but there's quite a bit of wind out there right now. It's 64 in Santa Maria, 69 San Luis. It's already 94 in Paso. And like I said, I think tomorrow is going to be warmer. 61 in Lompoc and 72 in Santa Barbara. Clearly there's wind. It's 21 miles per hour in San Luis Obispo, but calm in Paso Robles. So that up valley flow is not started yet. That means there's nothing to really cool things down until the sun sets up in North County. West wind 17 in Lompoc. It's 13 mile per hour wind in Santa Maria. So high pressure is building in here. There's a little ridge right in there. This is not going to last forever. As we get into late this week, we will start to cool down. In fact, by the weekend, temperatures will be below average around the area. This again, Hurricane Bud. In case you missed the top of the newscast, this is a Category 3 storm. There you can see the very well-formed eye wall. We have surf-related advisories because all that wind is transferring energy into the water. That is making its way north. This is not a threat to California. It will probably provide some leftovers into the desert southwest. That could turn into some thunderstorms in the desert southwest and central plains as some of this moisture will move up into the United States, but not really directly after it all kind of falls apart. Okay, past the rubbles tomorrow, 101 degrees, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see that light wind flow only really becoming stronger southwest late in the day, early evening. Folks who live up in North County know that. You get that heat, and then late in the day, you get that wind that finally relieves some of that just oppressiveness to it. San Luis Obispo, 85 degrees. There will be some wind in the afternoon at about 10 to 15 miles, probably maybe peaking at 20. Santa Maria, same story, getting back up to about 80 degrees. So we are warming at least tomorrow. And here's why, again, that ridge of high pressure. But by midweek, a trough swings into the Pacific Northwest. It deepens some marine influence, starts to cool us off a little bit. That deepens as we get into the weekend. And then early next week, we get another little system coming up from the south. That all also is low pressure and that will cool us down. We could get a little muggy as we get into early next week with tropical leftovers. Here you can see some of the marine layer that's off the coastline. Beaches will have some relief from this heat, but again, as you get into the valleys, even the coastal valleys warming up tomorrow, but inland valleys quite warm. Here's my forecast overnight lows tonight, mid 50s, especially in the warmer spots and then triple digits there tomorrow. 85 San Luis, 77 Santa Barbara, 76 in Lompoc. That's pretty warm for Lompoc. 88 Santa Inez, solving about the same, 94 out in Cuyama. In the five cities, even the beach is close to 70 degrees, away from the beach closer to 80 degrees. Wind-blocked Avila could make 80 tomorrow. Cayucas into the 70s, San Miguel 101. Extended forecast trend is definitely down as the weekend approaches. And look at this, 60s and 70s for daytime highs across Santa Barbara County, below average even in Paso Robles for the upcoming weekend. For the next few days, prepare for some heat. Richard, Karina, back to you.